Hey everyone, and welcome back to part 2 of the drugstore makeup haul slash $50 challenge. This video is the makeup tutorial. I'm not sure what to call it yet. I do have kind of a look in mind. It is Coachella inspired because everyone in America is having so much fun. While here in Australia, everyone has been celebrating Easter. I did want to incorporate blues and golds together. Um, and do something fancy. I do have a special product that I really want to try. I bought this about four to five years ago. I can I can't remember exactly. I bought it at the same time when I bought my masquerade mask for uh, my formal, which is home homecoming, which is your prom. And I bought this at the same time, but I never had the chance to wear it. But this is the product that I bought. It's from Face Lace by Phyllis Cohen and it's these beautiful eye decals. It's from the UK and Phyllis Cohen is so amazing. They're all lasered cut and hand finished. I really want to incorporate this into my look. Yes, if you do want to see this video and you do want to see this makeup tutorial, then keep on watching. So first off, I will have to remove the mascara I have. So I'll be using my 2-in-1 Express eye makeup remover. Like it takes it off and then there's not a lot of wiping or swiping. I have already moisturized, and obviously moisturizer does not count as makeup. It is skincare. So I use my um, Embrelease as always. So the first product I'm going to be using is obviously the primer, which is the Remel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1. While I let it soak in, I will shade match or test out this shade to see how it actually matches me. And I'm already looking at it, I can tell it's a bit light. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm gonna be white. <laughs> and see, like, I don't have another foundation because I was kind of hoping this was gonna be like a BB cream in a way that it will um, adapt to my skin tone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just have to contour the shit out of my face. I was hoping that it would be more honey tone because it said it was honey beige and obviously I know beige is like basic as fuck but um I was hoping that it would be more honey tone and this is a trick that I learned from um Pixie Lou at Sam she said that she usually swipes her, her sponge the Real Technique sponge to get a lighter application on her skin so that's what I'm doing. And if you can see any redness, it's because I shaved before I filmed. Usually I shave in the morning and then I film during the night. Because it's quiet in the house. And of course, you always have to do your ears. Because <laughs> you don't want to be two different shades. Just like, take out the whole factor that the shade is not me at all. <laughs> it really is blending in really well. And it's not clogging up my pores, but it is covering my pores. I usually don't take foundation down my neck this far, but I'm going to do it for the sake of this video. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go back to this setting spray. Because I want to see if it actually will help get rid of this cakiness that is on the face. So the next product I'll be using is the Essence Shape Your Face Contour Palette and I'll be dipping exactly into that contour to give me some colour. <sighs> Hopefully this works. I saw Michael Finch use this on his channel when he did a Essence video and he said it's very pigmented and the colouring is really nice. So with this amount of contouring, my face kind of does look like it's a bit more evened out which is good. But once I have all the makeup on, especially the eyes and the mouth, then everything will all come together. Trust me, just, you know, don't hate me right now. It will all come together. But I think next I'll be going, dipping into the highlight. And for the highlight, I'm gonna be highlighting a lot. Okay, and then in between that layer, I'll be putting on the blush, which is this pale pink that I will just be dusting right into this center part right here, just to marry those two colors together. 
What, um, so the next step is also to go back to this and help settle all this into the skin. Because I did use a lot of powder. <laughs> That's to just help marinate it down into the skin. For an eye primer, I didn't buy an eye primer, so I'm just going to use the foundation. And before that does anything and creases on me, I'll be going into the, the Essentials Quattro eyeshadow. And I'll be picking up that light shade, if I can open it. Oh my god. All over, up to the brow, of course. Just set all that in place. So I'll be grabbing my blending brush and dipping into the contour shade. Just to give me a transition shade. But I do want to make it darker for sure in this corner here. Just a light wash of it. And then the next shade I want to go into... Movi. What's up, Movi? Well, mm, yeah, it's, it's a Movi pink. I'll be focusing this colour slightly lower. And then dipping back into the contour shade, I'll be trying to... I'll be blending these two shades together. And I'm blending them enough so that they are seamless, but they don't get muddy together. So for the black, I really want to I want to push it right into this little corner here. And what I had in mind for this liner was just a wing right across. I am liking this pigmentation. And also this brush, oh my god. So now I'm going to put on mascara, and this is the Essence All Eyes On Me Waterproof Mascara. Oh, that smells like chemicals, like full-on chemicals. And I'm going to put it on my eyes. <laughs> Please God, don't let me go blind from this. I don't see much difference in terms of length. I see a bit of a difference in terms of separation. But I definitely don't see it holding on my curls. It actually is not waterproof. Because if it's waterproof, my lashes would stay up. What I was thinking of doing, because this look is such a glam look. I'm thinking of putting eyelashes on. And I have this set of lashes here. What I thought about with the blue is obviously put this in my waterline. So this is practically one eye done. I'm going to go off camera, finish off of this eye, and then I'll be right back. So I'm done with the eyes, and now I'm going back to blend out this contour line on my nose. It's just looking a little bit harsh. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the eyes. I just need to get some highlighter and just put it under my brows to help it pop. This highlighter isn't very strong pigmented even when I use the setting spray to see if using it wet will make it more pigmented. So the next thing I'll be doing is filling in my eyebrows with this eyebrow designer by Essence. This is in 01 black. And of course it has a brush. A very flimsy but coarse brush. And then the black. I don't want too sharp of a brow up on where my arch is, so I'm going to use the brush to just blend it downwards. I'm going to be tight lining with the black pencil as well, because I didn't buy a black eyeliner. What I need is a little bit more blush on my skin. So I'm going to be dipping back into that blush. And hopefully this pigment is picking up. Because it's so pale, I don't think it's showing on my skin. Now, the second to last step is the lips. So I'll be lining my lips with this nude lip pencil. And probably filling it all in with this pencil as well. And on top of that, on the cupid's bow, I'll be dipping into the highlighter. Now the very last step is to put on the face lace and this is the package it comes in, as you can see. And what you do is just open it and the face lace already has pre-adhesive um, 
stuck on the back of them. So you just peel this off this backing and it has these little tabs here for you to hold and measure where you want to put it on your eyes. But this is how it looks close up. This is the back. That's the front. And so I'll be measuring this over the top of this eye. And then you just peel this off slowly. And then it's just a matter of pressing it in. And then this bottom one. And I love how it goes into your eyebrows. Usually when they say with bare skin, they like it to go through bare brows. But when you have patchy brows, then it's kind of hard to put it on with just bare brows. So that's why I went with black brows. So it blends in because I don't want my brows to be lighter and then have it contrasting with each other and it doesn't look good. So that's the finished look. I added an extra element to my face as you can see. After I put on the face lace, I realized it was a little bit bare and not enough festive. So I just took the yellow NYX liner and just dotted my face and then did like a little kind of triangle up here which I blended out a little bit with my fingers. So it's not dots really. And here I just patted it, so it kind of looks like freckles, but not. And then I put it around my lip as well to just kind of capture where my lip line is. Because this is like an alternative to that line that everyone's always doing in those, their video, down the middle of their lips. So yeah, it's all kind of came together, really. I am, um, I'll just, I'll be right back though, because I'm going to put in my blue contacts and then we'll be done. So this here finally is the finished look. This look was so fun to uh, really like experiment and play around with and create. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I am wearing only one pair of blue contacts and these are the Solidica Ice. I seem to somehow have lost my right side um, contact and I'm not sure how. I must have been really drunk or really tired one night and just thought I dropped it into the container but I must have dropped it out somewhere because it's probably like dried up and crusty as fuck but I thought this kind of really brought the kind of festival look to a new um, ethereal level so this concludes part 2 of this little whole slash makeup look slash challenge so if you enjoyed this video then please leave me a thumbs up so please follow me on all my social media they are all listed down below in the description bar and also, please subscribe to my channel. I am going to be updating as regularly as I can. I'm definitely sticking to once a week, but I'm thinking of uh, boosting that up to two times a week. And I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!